So one of the things I hear a lot as a coach from CEOs is the complaint, oh, we seem to get nothing done. We can't get anything done. We can't ship anything. We can't seem to get any initiatives off the ground. We just can't get stuff done. And what's interesting is as soon as you start digging into that, you start to look at the way that the organisation operates. And a great metaphor for this is the concept of a of a glass jar. And that glass jar can represent the amount of effort, productivity, capacity that that organisation has. And you've got three things that you can place inside that glass jar. You've got things like sand. And sand is the stuff that's just the drudgery of any organisation's life, right? It's dealing with customer complaints. It's dealing with bug fixes if you're a tech company. It's dealing with operational challenges. It's dealing with all the mundane stuff that just seems to go wrong all of the time within a business, OK? And there's a lot of sand in operating a business. You can do your best to get rid of it, but sand is tricky. And the next part of the stuff you can put into your jar are pebbles. And pebbles are slightly larger initiatives, maybe they're new, uh, new, slightly new new features, new ideas, improvements to existing things, extending opening hours, new product lines. These are things that are interesting and a bit bigger and a bit more challenging. And main organisations are pretty good at doing pebbles. OK, they can do that. They can fill their jar up with sand and pebbles. Great. Everything's done. All right. They feel like making incremental improvements and, and pebbles very much are incremental improvements to what you're trying to do. They're nothing groundbreaking, but they are improving things day on day on day in, day out by fractions of a percentage here and there. OK, they're systemizing improvement all the way through. And the one that most organizations really struggle with is rocks. Rocks are big initiatives. They're the big, scary, challenging, difficult, strategic things that you know you need to do but are pretty challenging for you to be able to do. They are maybe launching into a new market, a new country, launching a new product line, launching into a new vertical, um, having a new um, division, a merger or an acquisition. They're the big stuff that's really challenging in terms of finding space to be able to do, but they are the most important and they will really move your business forward at a much, much higher rate. And the reality is, is once you filled your jar up with sand and you've got some pebbles at the top, there's no room for the rocks in there anymore. And so what that means is typically most rocks don't get done. They just get pushed to the next quarter. These initiatives are there and these big strategic challenges and the CEO is like, why is nothing getting done? And the reality is because the business is clogged up with sand right, and pebbles. Stuff's getting done, but it's just grinding through the gears of what you're trying to do. So how do you solve this? We well, just invert things. OK, if you look at back, back at that jar again. You put the rocks in first, then you put the pebbles in, and then you put the sand in. Suddenly you've got more space for everything because the sand can fit around the pebbles. The pebbles can fit around the rocks. It doesn't work the other way around. You can't fit a rock around everything, something else that's in, you know, around the sand, around the pebbles. You simply can't do that. So that means you prioritise rocks in the conversations that you have with your team. OK, you have maybe one to three rocks each quarter for each division, for each team, and you ask them to report back to you on the rocks. Okay, how is that rock going? How's that launch going into, into, into Europe? How's that launch going into China? Those are the big rocks that you've got and you ask people to keep reporting back on those things for you. Okay? Those are the things that you as a leader, as a CEO, focus on first. Sand, you shouldn't really care about. And sand needs to happen and your team are very good at dealing with that, but they shouldn't be shipping sand all of the time. Again, similarly pebbles, Important, but not really that important in the grand scheme of things, OK? Often they might be urgent, which is a different thing for a different time. But again, rocks are really what you want to be investing your time in communicating with as a leader to your team through the rest of the organisation. You don't want to talk to them about sand. You don't want to talk to them about pebbles, because, again, that gives you the wrong, gives the wrong signals about what's important. So, again, successful leaders start with the rocks, the big initiatives first, and trust that the team can fit sand and pebbles around that, around the outside of those particular rocks. So my suggestion to you as a leader is start with the rocks. What are those one to three strategic initiatives that you want to work on this quarter, this year? Communicate about those all of the time. Challenge your reports to deal with those. Challenge with the C-suite to work on those. What are their rocks for that particular quarter? And you spend your time walking, talking and focusing on rocks. And before you know it, rocks will start to happen. Again, the sand will always happen because your customers will be shouting about all these problems they've got. Pebbles will always happen because feature improvements are really easy to build. They're really easy for you to just to sort of roll out. They don't take a huge amount of effort as an organisation to do. Rocks, on the other hand, take a lot of time and a lot of effort. Start with the rocks. Thank you very much.